Hi guys, Chris here from Apollo Movement, Canada's e-mobility destination. In the last few weeks, we've been seeing threads on Reddit um, and Facebook regarding faulty brake calipers on the Mercane wide wheel. Just a heads up, this is going to be a sort of alternative solution towards how to fix uh, your brake caliper. Um, some calipers may actually be broken, we don't know what your situation is, but this should be a quick fix and we're here to help uh, if you have any other questions for, for it. So let me show you how it's done. And just a disclaimer, um, if your retailer or provider has told you uh, to do something otherwise, like not use your scooter, uh, we recommend you follow them. Uh, for us, it's literally just a brake adjustment uh, on a faulty caliper that we uh, sort of experienced. So this is up to your discretion um, and we're here to help and show you a quick temporary fix. So here's a brake caliper, as you can see, um, and I'm not an engineer, this is explained from our engineer in my language. Uh, so what it works with is here's your caliper arm um, that is functioned by a compressed spring inside, inside of your system here. And what happens when you use a compressed spring is that you can see that the brake pads inside are closing together. So what's happen been happening is that uh, as these, the arm um, has been fluctuating, when you're hearing the snapping sound, it means that the compressed spring is not going its full rotation. It's being applied and then it goes back to this side like here. So it won't go all the way to the back as it should be here. Uh, this is usually the compressed spring inside. So the, what's good is that the brake pads can be adjusted with the compressed spring uh, simply by doing maneuvers inside of the brake here and I'll show you how to be doing that on an actual Mercane. Um, so the trick is also to, to realize this, if your Mercane brake is all the way angled back like this today and it's working correctly, that's fine. Um, the caliper issue has been happening where you've been looking at your Mercane and the brake has been stopping here for example. So now let's see how it'll look on the actual Mercane uh, while we do it together, it'll be much easier. So now let's start by untightening these two screws for the caliper. So here you go, it's come off here and you can see that blue color, that's all uh, Loctite. Um, so now we're gonna take the whole caliper off, sorry for the dirty part of it. We're gonna just undo the brake tightening cable over here. So as you can see, this is the issue that people have been facing. The brake caliper, uh, instead, this is a faulty brake caliper. This, for example, is a normal brake caliper. See the arm difference. This allows you to brake, so you have a lot more friction in the brake. Here, you have no space to brake, which is why the danger comes in. Um, first of all, you gotta really jam back the brake caliper so your spring returns to normal position. So really jam it back. Perfect. Now once that's done, uh, now you're going to undo completely the bolts that holds the caliper um, in place. The reason we're undoing it is we're going to put, uh, you can see there's no Loctite on the screw right now. Uh, what we're going to do is going to put Loctite all on the screw and every other bit. Uh, the reason that we use Loctite is really, Loctite is um, used as like the glue for metal to really reinforce all this back. Okay. So once that's completely fully, fully locked in, uh, that's perfect. Now that you've done the front side of it, now you're gonna do the back. Um, this is where the back brake pad is connected. Um, so make sure you take the small allen key and this bolt is what's holding the back brake pad of your Mercane. So undo this as well. It's gonna be a very small little bolt. Let's see. And now once the small bolt is out, you'll be able to undo um, this brake pad, so this small bolt holds that brake pad into place. Perfect. And now what that allows you to do is release completely the brake pad um, in that case, perfect. So now you're gonna take the small iron key, you're gonna take off both brake pads. The whole reason we're doing this is to re really reinforce every single screw uh, inside your brake so that no no uh, errors can happen in terms of your braking or any screws becoming loose which can make can pose a dangerous threat while you drive your Mercane. Perfect, so now the second brake pad is out. Okay, so once that's out, now you're gonna take the small screw and you're gonna put it in the front, just show yeah. There we go. And now you're gonna push the brake, the screw that's, that's controlling your whole brake pad all the way out. 
clockwise. Clockwise, we're just pushing it out. And you can see the screw comes all the way out. There we go. And now make sure you add uh, Loctite to this. This is very, very important as well. Okay. There we go. Okay, so once that's done, now you just reconnect the bolts back inside. This is all a safety precaution, really, to really make sure that everything is holding tight inside of your McCain brake. So tighten that in all the way. And now you're gonna put back the brake pad on the front, there we go. And this screw as well, make sure you add your Loctite to it. Perfect. Once that's in, pretty, so it should be flat on top of your screw, and you add the mini screw as well. I've seen we've seen other videos where they take the small screw uh, and add glue to it so it sticks in, but you can also add more Loctite to this as well. Again, reapply a round of Loctite. Perfect. Perfect. And now you just add the back brake inside of the caliper. There one we go. Okay. And now you're gonna want to screw it so that it's one millimeter. Your back uh, brake um, pad is gonna be one millimeter uh, out. Just one small millimeter. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And now you tighten that small. Once it's one millimeter back, now you tighten that small screw that's gonna really hold your brake into place. And the fact that you've put Loctite and glue, it's going to really keep it there secure. So now, when you're going to reassemble the brake, uh, make sure you undo these two uh, side bolts. Uh, this is what's going to make allow you to put um, the brake pad back parallel onto your brake. So undo those a little bit so it's a bit loose. So now that the arm is back in place, take the small Allen key that's going to fit into here. And what this small Allen key inside the screw is going to change is um, if your brake pads are open or shut. So make sure you twist them completely for that your brake pads to be completely open. So left, left means loose, which means the brake pads are opening up so that you can re put it back, on to, back onto the mechanism before, um, before retightening it after. So once that's done, all the way to the left, you can take this off. So now that your caliper is adjusted, um, you can slightly put this, the thread it back through, make sure this, uh, the tanning side of the brake is parallel in front and thread that through. Secondly, make sure your caliper lies perfectly on the brake pad and back in place over here. There we go. So before putting in these two screws um, here, we recommend as well, add some Loctite. You know, Loctite is absolutely amazing. It's a quick fix and it's a safety measure for every screw to make sure it doesn't become loose up. So there we go, make sure it's really tight in there and you're good to go. So that your arm should be perfectly flexible and free to move. Okay, so now that your brake caliper is back on the Mercane, what you're gonna do is you wanna tighten uh, your brake pads with the small Allen key and tighten it completely to your brake so that your brake is perfectly parallel onto the brake pad. So there we go, all the way um, to the right and clockwise. So now once you take the Allen key, you're gonna tighten these two sides of your brake caliper. Um, next would be to adjust here your cable. So make sure it goes in on top here. And 
make sure this is nice and tight when you do it. This is nice and tight and straight and your arm caliper can move. Now it's when you're going to readjust uh, the brake pads inside to tighten them and close them as we mentioned earlier. So again, to give you an understanding, when I loosen it completely, the wheel should flow fine. And then when you tighten it completely, the wheel should not be able to move, see? So find that sweet spot in which you feel more safe. Um, we'd recommend to be more safe than sorry, but that should be a good metric for us. There we go. That's good for us. And there you have it. So again, just a quick recap. Um, when a brake, brake caliper issue is broken, when it's up here, the, what we found is that it's because of the looseness of this here. Um, this is based on our brake calipers. Some of them might have issues with springs, etc. This is a quick fix for us. Um, so undo this, readjust your caliper from here to here. Use Loctite inside the screw so it really keeps it and glues it tight. And lock this as hard as you can uh, back in its normal position. Um, make sure you readjust the brake pads inside by putting the small allen key here. Um, right over here. Make sure your string is nice and thick here, at, uh, nice and parallel over here, and tighten your screw here. And overall, make sure it's a, it's a safe... What we recommend is whenever you get your marking or whatever you're doing, is always tighten every single screw, regardless if you're going to use them, if you see them, or if you know its purpose. Um, and there we go, so that's a quick fix on how to put your great brake caliper from back to over here to over here. So let us know if you have any questions in the comments, and thank you for watching.